what's going on guys it's abby um please excuse the way i sound right now i have like a little cold it's not corona get your head side of the corona gutter but anyways i have something special to show you that i can't wait to let me show you is on its foundation well actually it's been on its foundation for about a couple weeks now but it's not done okay so we can't move into it yet so don't think that it's not ready to move in yet they got their little work truck here that they're using to come and fix things on the inside. Like I told you, there was a bunch of cracks and stuff in the walls and in the roof. And they're fixing all of everything that messed up and shifted. But it is together. It's on its foundation. A lot of people were as confused about what the foundation was going to be about. Like, whatever they heard. Like, some of our family members were a bit confused about what the foundation was going to be. And I'll show you. I said before in my YouTube videos... And it's literally cinder blocks. It's not fake. And there's pillars inside. It's an actual foundation because it's an actual house. A lot of people keep calling it a trailer, trailer, trailer. It's all I've been hearing. And there's nothing against trailers because I've grew up in one pretty much my whole entire life until I was like, I was five years old whenever I moved into a trailer. So I'm not against trailers whatsoever. But when you sit here and it is a modular and people are calling it a trailer, it's about as if you live in a house and somebody's coming to you saying that you live in a double wide. You know, so it's like one of those things. But, um, as you can see, there's a lot of dirt. Um, there's no grass. But it is on its thing and it is together. I'll show you. And the siding is not done, as you can see right there. And the siding is not done on both of the ends. I'm sorry I sound like this. I am sick and I don't feel very good. But I wanted to make a video so I can get it out to you guys because I haven't made one in a while. But, um, here's this side. Uh, as you can see, it still doesn't have the vinyl siding on it. And I uh, forgot to say, but it is premium vinyl siding. That is an upgrade from regular siding. And I'll go up to the window and try to show you as much as I can. Um, we haven't been inside of it yet. So, you know, we've just been sitting here patiently waiting. But you can kind of see inside it together. This is the second living room, actually. Um, so, yeah, has like on the foundation, it has these little vents you close during the winter or something. I don't know how they work. But um, here's our backyard, as I said before. Here's our back door that you'll come out of. And pretty soon our animals will be out here. I don't know when we're going to move them. Probably when they're completely done with it. And probably it's going to take us a couple months to move all the animals and stuff. But um, here, it don't have a back porch yet. And it doesn't even have a front porch yet. We're going to have to build one. But it is going to have stairs. A little porch kind of leading into it. But um, here's the back of it. There's a little crawl space right there for you to crawl inside and fix things underneath. I feel awful. Um, let's see. I can't really show you much because I can't even see much myself. But we can kind of see that it's, you know, they're starting to work on patching up all the holes in the walls we seen when they were lifting it up with the crane. So, there's a lot going on. There's a window to the kitchen. There's a window to the kitchen that you see, like, these beautiful little rocks back here. Um, it's my mom's bathroom. There's a the little crawl space you can go into. Uh, the crawl space, if you want to know how tall the foundation is, I'm 5'7", and it comes up to my hip. Like, right up my hip. So, if you had to guess, I don't know how many inches or feet that is, but it comes up to my hip, and I'm 5'7". So, if that gives you a little bit of an idea. There's a water speaker on the back, and there's a water speaker in the front as well. Here's the other side. This side is my mom's bathroom. And a window in her bedroom. So, that's her bathroom. Can't really show you because I can't really. Well, I might be able to. Yeah, they're working in there in the shower. Doing all that good stuff. I guess they're working on the door. I don't know, honestly, what they're doing. Um, but they come only come out here for like four hours a day. Which is kind of crappy. But, you know, whatever. We can't really help Process it. This just seems like it's taking a long time. Let's go ahead and get our thumbnail. Sassy. And, <laughs> um digging up the dirt and dig the dirt up oh and they also got a little bit of uh when i say a little bit i mean it a little bit of freaking gravel and you guys only want to know how much we pay for a little bit of gravel outrageous okay let's take a picture what i mean by a little bit of gravel and let's just say it was in the three digits okay and oh wait would that be two digits i'll just say it. it's 500 dollars for this little bit and then there was some that they put down at the bottom of the hill please excuse my hands here these are not these are from a cat, okay? They look worse. They look like somebody's done, like, sit here and harm themselves. I probably can't say that. But, um, because YouTube. But look at this. My cat is a little feisty little hoe. 
<laughs> I'm gonna tell you that we found a stray kitten while we were at my grandma's house for Halloween because we didn't go on actual Halloween because my dad's on call so we don't get to go. So when we went to Halloween this weekend, we found a cat outside and a um, little kitten. I'll show you on the inside what we're, you know, what we got set up for it right now because it's going to the vet actually tomorrow at 3.30. And I'll tell you what they say about it. But, um, here is this. That little box is like permits and stuff. So, let me go take care of my chickens. But I wanted to give you a little update so you can kind of see what's going on and what all they're doing. An airplane. I don't know where they're going. my chickens are doing good. I just haven't had the time to film. I've just been busy. And I started to feel crappy around Monday. So, I was like, I've been out pretty much. You know when they say I've been out of work? I've been out like a little, I'm, I've just been so tired. I'm just like, oh, I need to take me like a break. You know what I'm saying? So I'm working on it. I'm trying to get myself back into posting more videos because I know I have been very slacky on posting my videos, but let's get back into the groove of feeding these chickens. Um, and I'll tell you a little update. I honestly can't even remember what my last video was, but if I didn't tell you guys, um, I put Dolly who was in here with Odie into the coop with the little chickens and the, um, are the little chicks they're not really chicks anymore because some of them are laying eggs but um i put dolly in here actually right there she is this one right here that's frosty that's uh I believe rose that's sophia felicity ducky johnny cash and dotty have been world's worst hang on have been world's worst at not going up at night so that's gonna be an issue. There you go, girls. And boys. Frosty's a boy. Sassy, you ready to go up, honey? I'll put you up next. Hang on. Yep. Mr. Johnny Cash and Dottie out here. World's worse at going up at night. So I have to put them up every single night until they learn. And yes, I walk them up the ramp. I'll literally show you. This actually does work for some chickens. And I'll show you right now. Come here. Come here, Johnny Cash. All right, so this works for some chickens. To get them to go up at night, you walk them all the way up. Here comes Felicity. Be a little butt. Felicity, walk down or go up. Go ahead, Johnny. Go ahead, no. Go ahead, Johnny Cash. There you go. And this is little Miss Dottie. She, I'm going to walk her too. Come on, girl. They know how to go down, but they don't know how to go back up. <laughs> Kind of always a problem. Okay. Back up, Felicity. Close that up. Comes to nightly chores. You have to put them up because they're not learning. Now, if they were to learn to go up, because you can come out here and they will not come back out until the sun shines in the morning. That's how chickens are. But if they don't learn to go up at night, that's when you get the big issue. So, definitely pay attention if your chickens are going up at night. I'm going to go get this egg that's in here. So, we've got... Uh-uh. You can't come out, Felicity. Felicity has been my little wanting to come out every time you put her up. It's... There's not an egg. I'll just go get that tomorrow. If there is one, I can't see. All right, that's pretty much what I do with my chickens. But yes, Dolly did convert to that coop very good. Had no issues. Odie also hasn't had any issues with her being in a different coop. I think he actually likes it. He has more space. You know how men are. But let's put that on and let me go inside because I'm tired. I'm going to show you the little kit. Thank you up for the night. Thank you. Let you out in the morning, baby. Little puppies are doing good. Dixie's doing good. Duke's doing good. The bunny rabbit's doing good. Everybody's doing good. The cats are doing good. Hey guys, I want to pop in before I say bye and say that we did take the kitten, the stray kitten to the vet. Hang on, I'm playing Animal Crossing. We did take the stray kitten to the vet and uh, finds out that everything's healthy as far as one thing. He has a touch of ringworm. Well, so she don't know for sure if it's ringworm, but she suspects that it is because a one little spot popped up in the black light that she did on him whenever we took him to the vet on Thursday. Today's Friday. Um, and so she says that it's curable. So she gave us like a shampoo that ended up being like $50 for the bottle of shampoo. And thank God we've kept Olivia. 
who is over there looking at the TV, and she knows her name. Thank God we've kept her isolated from that cat, and every time we touched anything, we always washed our hands. And thank God he's inside of a crate and not roaming around in the house near Marley or anything like that. Because he does have a touch of ringworm, and he has to be isolated for like six to eight weeks or something. So, what we're going to do is, this is what she told us, for six weeks, we have to bathe him in a wash that she gave us two times a week and have to let it sit on him for 15 minutes before we wash it off and do that every two times a week for six weeks and come back for his I think he's six weeks old she said estimated around six weeks old come back in an, a month or so and when you come back in a month she'll check it again with the ring light and see if it went away or if it's gotten worse if it's gotten worse chances are it's probably ringworm and if it is ringworm he'll probably end up having to live outside if we can't get rid of it instead of him being inside and giving it to Miss Olivia Olivia she's sleeping Miss Olivia or to Marley Olivia's doing just fine look at her She's sweet as ever. Um, she's my little baby. And uh, Marley's doing good. Everybody's doing good. But the cat has a supposal, maybe, hopefully not, um, ringworm on the ear. Also, another thing she says, within two weeks of having him, we should start to see ringworm spots on us. If it is ringworm, I haven't noticed anything. Everybody else has it who's petted him. So, we're just keeping him isolated in a cage changing out his bedding a lot and cleaning it, you know, keeping him away from Olivia. Olivia stays in my room at least for six weeks. So that's going to be our life for a while, but it's going to be all worth it in the end because he's a really sweet cat. It'd be perfect for him to get along with Olivia, all this kind of stuff. And yes, it is a boy. It was confirmed he was a boy. Uh, she was looking and said, yeah, it looks like he is a boy. Yeah. He is a boy. So, it is a little bit harder to tell on kittens than it is dogs. It's not like an obvious thing. Um, so, there's a little update. I'm going to insert some pictures and maybe a couple videos. That way, you can kind of see what he looks like. Before I say bye, I also want to go in and say I sound a little bit better. Um, I This has actually been a while since I filmed the video of the house. I have just felt bad. I had a sinus infection and whenever I get any kind of like sickness, it gets bad because I have asthma. So I take breathing treatments, all that kind of stuff. But I'm feeling a lot better and um, I feel like I don't sound as bad as what I did in the videos you guys just seen. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you hopefully in another week. Uh, okay, bye for now. See you next time on Abby Scoop.